Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 122C string trimmer. Customer complaint is that it's not running right. So we took a look at the air filter. That looks good. It's just a foam block in there. Now we're going to look inside the fuel tank and give it the sniff test and see what we got going on. And just from looking at the color of it, kind of a turquoise color, and the smell, kind of like paint thinner, I know that that's uh, canned fuel in there. So we're not worried about the fuel. We'll take a look inside the cylinder and see what we got going on. Spark plug is new. Doesn't look like it's ever run on that spark plug. I wonder if we got spark. Can't see any spark. You can't see any spark. I guess it must have had spark. Let's look at the condition of the cylinder. Clean and shiny. Uh, there's no reason to look at it with a scope. Everything looked pretty decent. Tuck that plug back in there. Why don't we give it a run and see what it runs like. Doesn't run very well at all, does it? Okay, we leaned it out a little bit. Backed it off another eighth turn. Now we're going to do a rich test. And it wanted to die. Trying to find that point in between lean and rich so we know where we are. So we're idling, we're at 2760 right now. And if we lean it out a little bit, it goes up. And it'll keep going up. And eventually, if we keep laying it out, it'll go back down. So our peak is right around 3,000 RPM right now. Riching it up from there, the RPM is going to go down. It's a little erratic at that point. The best running and throttle response that we got was on the rich side of that peak. A few hundred RPMs lower than that highest setting. You know, maybe even 500 RPM. If you want to be a little bit richer, you'll get that better throttle response. You'll also get, you know, if you're working with a homeowner piece of equipment, they're going to start it up and they expect it to keep running. Now, if it's adjusted so it runs decent when it's hot, it might not want to run decent when it's cold. But the customer is going to expect it to stay running when it's cold. So you, sometimes as a shop, you got to set them a little bit rich.
All right, so we had an interruption during the repair. And when I came back to the bench, uh, the trimmer's cold, so it's been sitting there a while. But there's some tools on the bench that weren't there before. Uh, we got the scrunch was moved. It used to be sitting on the left. And now it's over on the edge. The torch wasn't there before. There's a concrete blade sitting on the table over here. That wasn't there before. The rag got moved. And uh, there's a pair of scissors on the bench. So what do you think happened during that break? We're going to run this thing again now. seems okay. We're at uh, 20, 2500 RPM. Yeah, the response sounds pretty good. Leaned it out a little bit. The RPM is going up. How's the response? I got an idea. But we're going to adjust the high speed next. And I like to find that point just a little leaner than the point where it's four strokes. And if you don't know what four stroking is, I'm going to show you. Sixty-eight, seventy, sixty-eight, thirty. Fatten it up, meaning we opened up the high-speed jet, made it richer, and the speed went down. watching my hand and you can see me richening up that high speed and then it starts four stroke and that's what I'm talking about so I have all the string out on here it's hitting the cutter so I have full load you don't want to do this with unloaded Now some might say that, well that's too rich, you can turn it up, they say, which means lean it out, turn that high speed screw in. You know, I like to uh, play it safe. I like to make them uh, just leaner than too rich, if that makes any sense. The low speed on this one seems a little bit inconsistent. We'll have to fix that. 
So that's all I'm going to have for the 122C carb adjust and an explanation of force stroking. Thanks for watching. Later.